what did I say, Phillies? Don't lose three or four to the Marlins. And what do you go ahead and do? You lose three or four to the Marlins. We're going to take some time apart, um, the Phillies and I. We need a break. We need a break at this point in the season. And, you know, I don't like that because I was really excited for this season with, uh, you know, the Phillies, uh, the, the, the bats and all that stuff. Um, okay. So the Phillies score uh, three runs in back-to-back games. Oh, excuse me, uh, three runs in the last game of the series, one run in the game two, three runs in, in game one. Uh, they jumped out onto the scene for 10 runs in the third game of the series, which they won, which was nice, 10 to three. Uh, now they go to Colorado. Every hitter's favorite park to hit in. Please, mash. Do that thing we've all been waiting for you guys to do. Were you mash? Colorado Rockies? Be a nice place to get that started. Also, uh, if you remember me earlier in the season talking about how a lot of this comes down to Joe Girardi, like any time a team spends top dollar, for instance, the Phillies going over to luxury tax for the first time ever, you're going to look at the manager with a lot more um, pressure, especially in the final year of a deal. Lame duck manager applies here, that phrase, because he has no year after this year in the contract. Um, they're over the tax. This is the push come to shove moment for Joe Girardi. This right now, the push come to shove moment for Joe Girardi. He's got to be the difference. We're spending money on a good product. Make sure it's a good product. Now, could it be possible that all these guys are having down moments, down years? Could that be the beginning of it? Is it only still April? Yes. Blah, 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 blah. Not hitting the panic button, whatever. But it's all down to Joe Girardi. Find a way to make this work. JT Romuto was absolutely mashing for this team. He puts him in the starting lineup as the leadoff hitter for the Phillies over the last two games. He goes one for eight. <laughs> oh, this is fun. We're all having fun here. Uh, so we'll see how the rest of this goes away uh, goes on. But Joe Girardi uh, yesterday in the fourth inning, I want to say it was, he's watching uh, Zach Wheeler pitch. And Zach Wheeler didn't have it yesterday. By no means. I'm going to pull up his um, seven runs earned, eight hits surrendered, three walks. How did he get to 66 pitches, Joe? How are we at home looking at this going, oh, this guy doesn't have it. Where's Girardi? Oh, he's still in the dugout. He's not He's not getting his, his, his pitcher? Okay. Good luck to you, pal. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't exactly the best start for him yesterday. But uh, nonetheless, this is all in Joe Girardi at this point. Hey, players got to play. Players got to hit. They hit. He looks a lot better. But moments like that, they make you wonder. They make you wonder. So thank you, Dan Schwartz, for bringing up the Phillies. Uh-